kenapa datang dulu Gents, we're beginning our journey today from Penang, from the hotel we stayed in for a few days. So we're finishing our Malaysian bit of our trip and uh, we're waiting for a taxi. Today is like a holiday, like a bank holiday and there's not many taxis around. We, are, we allowed ourselves uh, time, like two and a half hours from here, including taxi to airport. But I was calling the Grab driver and he was like very far, he wasn't coming. Then I was trying to look for another driver. Uh, Unsuccessful, so we just called the local taxi. A little bit more expensive, but hopefully it's going to be here on time and will get us to the airport because we don't have too much time left. Too much time left for flying to Phuket in Thailand. There is this little market here in the center of uh, Georgetown, and in this market you can get fish, you can get uh, chicken, all sorts of stuff. And this market is apparently built before the colonial times, before English people came here. So this was here already standing and uh, people were selling goods for the needs of inhabitants of Penang. Wet market. Fish also got. Chicken also got. All right. I thought it's only fish. I can smell fish. Yes. This is all Mifona in the melon. Mifona UK. Occupy oh, Okay, before, yeah? Yes. All right, very old. Very yeah, old. About All right. Then 200 years ago. Oh, okay. You see, very old. Then you said, old one. Old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Not much happening here today apparently, you have to come on Sunday to get the most of it, but it was nice to see. So yeah, this was our hotel. It was a brilliant place, to be honest with you. Interesting full of emotions, very emotional. We booked through Malaysia Airlines, yes? Uh, Phuket. Oh no. So we checked in. Luckily, everything's fine. So we didn't need the online check-in. We just gave lady our passports. She found us. We got a bag in there already. We have one hour and like 30 minutes to our flight. Last glimpse of Penang. It's hot, yeah, at the moment, but it's good. It's good. We are in still in Malaysia. Yeah. Listen, uh, we will need to turn the clocks back, and the uh, flight is only one hour, so basically we're kind of traveling in time. So boarding and arriving in Thailand at the same time.
Wow. Oh my God. Look at this. And this ladies and gents was quite cheap and cheerful. We've chosen something like, well, in the range of our budget, more or less, from the, from the lower uh, side of the budget. But again, this place is not by the sea, first of all, and it's, it's on a very, very steep hill. So I'm not sure how we're going to walk up, the, up and down, but it means we can eat more. <laughs> but obviously, true. when you walk, walk up there, it's like 500 calories <laughs> per minute. <laughs> okay, we don't have a view. We have jungle view. You can jump over here. Oh yeah, we can jump straight there. Eh? That's fine. I'll do a detailed tour later on. Just gonna put my bag down. What is that? You can go to neighbors. That's right. It's like a double door. Shower with a little seating area. Seating area. <laughs> There's one sink just here. That's so which is nice, nice when you walk in and just wash your hands. There were a few options. There were even cheaper option without kitchen, just like a basic room. And this one has got a kitchenette and a little dining table here as well. Fridge. Oh, I need to fill it up. And uh, well, got everything basically. Bas basically, to be honest with you, if this would be my house, I would mind to have a house like this. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. So this is how a hotel looks like from outside. You would never tell that it's so beautiful inside. And he's on a steep hill. The hill is going up. And very steep hill going down there. Look, I was looking for food. I found it. going for a first walk on a hillside of Patong, hillside area of this town. Bloody hell, it's just first impression is just you can get anything you want here. Unbelievable. It smells nice, it smells of chicken, so we need to get some chicken somewhere. With these little drinks, we got watermelon something and mango something. Mango. Yeah, it matches your shirt, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> oh, amazing. You know, I'm struggling to get through this menu. That's that's a big problem. We got like 20 pages here, and uh, the price is averaging 200. Um, something's 250, but the something is 100. So basically, some amazing, amazing prices we got here. Well, just checked on the road as well. You can get this chicken for like 25 baht one piece of nice piece of chicken uh, barbecued on fire like so that's that's how much it's like you get two for 50 it's like one pound 25 something like that they are spoiled again apparently ordered some spicy cucumbers with boiled eggs oh cheap and cheerful Jesus spicy? no not too spicy to be honest <coughs> my goodness I would never expect uh, this rice to be served like this this rice with raisins and with the raisins uh, in a pineapple. In a pineapple. Proves, cashew nuts. Nice. Nice. Well, it's not nice. <laughs> it's amazing. I just tried the prawn from there. So good. Even these cucumbers are good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You need to cook one for me at home like this. Yeah. Yes. Every day. <laughs> So we just had a lovely, lovely food. 
We paid for it like twelve pounds, I think, altogether. I had two watermelon juice and uh, mango juice and two dishes, basically. Amazing, amazing, cheap and cheerful. Just found out that we can rent a bike, pretty cheap. Costs three hundred bucks, and uh, you can rent bikes everywhere here. Just every every second building is offering you like scooters, and I've seen a bigger one as well, like proper maxi scooter, brand new, cost one thousand for a day. 25 pounds and you can do some physical activities here in the middle of the street like all kinds of stuff look it's like a little gym see and it shows what to do here and obviously I doesn't need any help how are you feeling much better eh? yeah that's it so yeah let's walk for the street and I will need to change the card because my card is running out. At this very point, oh, it's full. If you be naughty, you will go down. No, that's the police. So, ladies and gentlemen, new day today again. So, the plan is just to browse around the Patong city. Uh, we don't have any bike today or anything. We're just gonna walk around the area of this particular town. So we just went down the hill, I mean, physically, <laughs> and we are in a little center already. So this is the main street of the hillside area of Patong. We live on the very top, basically on the very corner of Patong, as far from the sea as you can imagine yourself to be when you're in Patong. Because after, after the place where we live is just a rattan hill, basically large hill with a lot of greenery on it. What's your name? After like 10-15 minutes walk, we are like in a more central location. We ended up in a proper touristy center of Patong and it looks completely different. So the place where we live is, it feels more local, that area on the hill there. But you need to walk about 20 minutes at least to get to the beach where we are now. And interestingly, it's also a little bit cloudy there at the moment and it's totally sunny where the beach is so it's hot so ladies and gentlemen this is basically the epicenter of day life and night life for a tourist beautiful beach lots of people lots of things to do lots of shops restaurants cannabis you know you name it it's amazing it's booming after Malaysia you know after like places quite place like Langavi for example this is like well hundred times busier and uh, every street is full of everything so you can spend loads and loads of money in general everything is pretty cheap but again there's so many offers here so you can end up with no money. There you go, ice cream time. For oh, me, I do for myself. Coconut ice cream. Yes, sir. Nice. Coconut jelly. Okay. Coconut jelly. You can do three things, yeah? Yes. Then pineapple. This one pineapple. Hot. Yeah, and mango. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Have a nice Thank day. You. Nice. 
Look at these umbrellas. This is the other side of the beach now. By the way, we just keep walking. No breakfast, no lunch. I'm joking. We're gonna eat some food. Plus I've got some bananas already. <laughs> I'm just fencing these little bananas, but I thought I'm gonna eat them straight away, but I'm just carrying them for like an hour now. No monkeys around, so no one wants them. with minced prawn why not I want some eggs basically that's it and what are you gonna go for I will go for Thai fried rice with seafood um, rice fried rice with seafood yeah Thai fried Thai fried rice Thai five omelette with prawns and what type of tower is that what is it Thai fried rice with seafood, yes. Just for your information, like if you're in a touristy uh, spot, touristy place like here next to the beach, obviously your price is going to be, you expect much higher prices. Uh, it's windy behind me, sorry. And um, also, not necessarily the quality will go up. I'm not saying anything about this place, everything's alright, but just the two times more expensive, basically. So, so you're contributing a little bit when you're going out of the touristy places and pop into local streets and stuff. How's your food? It's really nice. Everything always is so nice and delicious. I know. Really Thank you. Tasty. Thank you for saying that. Well, listen, I'm still, uh, I'm still dreaming of my uh, uh, barbecue, the uh, chicken. <laughs> you know that grilled stuff is now. I think it's the best when you walk there, up that uh, mountain road. Oh, that that nice smell of grilled chicken. And now we're going back to the base, back to our mountains, and we'll find out what's happening with the bike. Uh, with a scooter uh, will we get one today maybe maybe tomorrow morning we definitely need one because that's how we like to travel around message for our water expert for Carol look this hotel has like own water Ratana hotel and it has like own bottled water I just realized he is coming from the springs and the springs are just there that you see back to the very very base of organic water okay this was little advertisement all right so we got this bike 125 cc scooter did cost us 300 baht per day in the morning I was saying it's not that hot in Phuket actually but it, it is much much warmer it's about 34 degrees in shade. That's it, so we're going for a little, uh, little evening ride. We stopped at this place here. It's saying uh, Patong City. So yeah, just a big sign on the side of the road. All right. Well, the roads here are much, much busier obviously than in Malaysia. There's a lot of traffic going on. It's like bikes and cars all over the place. Okay, maybe not in this particular place. This is more like a main, main road that connects 
uh, well this place and uh, the other side of the island but yeah it's all good in a hood uh, we're gonna try to find one uh, little place that people normally don't visit This is interesting stabilization. Yeah, ladies and gents, we got this bike and just decided to go. We have a few hours of daylight, so we thought, let's go somewhere where we can go. Just see any signs, something interesting. And the sign suggested to go for waterfalls. And it didn't take us long, it's like five kilometers drive. But we drove out of tourist areas and there's not many people here, nothing happening. It's such a beautiful nature. There's a little river there, so very, very nice uh, place. So let's explore, let's, let's see what it offers. Okay, I was probably a little bit wrong about this place not uh, being not too touristy because on every corner is saying kvass, which is popular Russian drink, <laughs> which is good. I used to like kvass when I used to eat uh, gluten stuff. Uh, kvass is really nice, it's like beer without alcohol. The sign is suggesting that the waterfall uh, has got some open opening hours between 8 and Five o'clock? It's five o'clock now. So I don't know. Shall we just go? Maybe and just see? go up and have let's a see. look. Maybe, Maybe we can see from far away. So exactly, yeah, let's have a look. Why not? Oh look at the bottles. Yeah. Little bottles coming. <laughs> that's a bottleneck. <laughs> Millions of steps again. Steps. That's what I'm saying. I can't believe this is happening again. In this in this holiday for us, it's only steps. It's all about steps really and stairs. Everywhere you go. Looks like very old stones. Looks like autumn in Latvia, like November. <laughs> Full of leaves. Little dam. There's a little waterfall there. That looks nice. Can you see? Not many people here. I don't see many. You know the place is just like not like lost but abandoned something is broken some rubbish there but in general you can see there is a little little beautiful waterfall there as well i'm not sure if that's the waterfall they mean or you need to go up further and then you get rewarded with even better views i can see like what do you see look at those red red like berries yeah, there yeah i thought you could take a picture with your phone like zoom it in Nice. So we got to the approximate top and let's see we failed. We can't get any more up so we have to go down. Or we could, but it gets tricky there. And tricky means risky as well <laughs> and we asked the guys there on the top have you been even higher and they said yes five years ago just now they came down <laughs> so we're going down we're not going there the base so there are a few little cafes here so you can eat something I'm not sure if we will I think we're gonna make make our way back back to the apartments 
because we probably want to go for a swim unless we can find a place to swim here and as I already said it's just like 10 minutes drive with the scooter and you out of the hustle and bustle of the quite large uh, Patong city just in a countryside for a change we immerse here for a while then you go back and you are complete oh, it's a nice little place here thank you We've got a very close neighbor here with some presents. <laughs> oh, God knows what it is. We drove without any any directions uh, and any aim and we came to Karong Beach just for the sunset. The motorbike is so quick, you can be one minute there, exactly, and minute exactly. On the other side. Without motorbike, we've been just spending like all day in one place on the one beach, and now today, look, we just got like one, one and a half hours or two hours, and we've been everywhere already, all over the place. You can come here for the sunset, you can go up to the hill, to the waterfall, you know, and we still have time for, for more, you know. So, yeah, this is the Caron Beach, and it looks very different to be honest from Patong Beach from the central beach because well, strange enough it's just like less than 10 kilometers away and the feel is completely different here this feels more like a countryside it feels more secluded you, you don't get this uh, big city feeling shops and stuff where you got all these shacks everywhere and uh, palm trees a lot of cooked food so that's the atmosphere here Tomorrow we're gonna go for for a little trip. Um, we're gonna visit many of these places. We'll try to see how they look like and what is the difference between these beaches and stuff. So yeah, amazing. Sun is down already. Look, that's it. That was it. That was it for today. I'm on the wrong side actually. I'm on the wrong side. There is Aya filming some content for you.
Right, yeah, to be honest with you, I love this place. I would definitely come back here. And uh, I feel like I would definitely come here to eat something for some street food. Looks very tempting. There you go. This is what happens when two vloggers meet. Hey, hello, how are you? <laughs> nice you? to meet you. Hey, hello. Hey, 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 hello. hello. <laughs> We're doing everything for you. <laughs> 